Hello and welcome to the announcement show for the Red List Challenge in the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2023. Obviously now it is 2024, uh, but we had over 10,000 entries in the 2023 Pangolin Photo Challenge, so it's taken us a while to get through them. Um, over the weeks we are going to be announcing each of the challenge winners, uh, but this one was the Red List. It was a new challenge for us and we wanted to highlight animals that are currently sitting on the IUCN uh, endangered list, the red list. So without further ado, we're going to get to the images. I must commend everybody who entered. It was uh, a beautiful, beautiful category. And thank you everybody who took part and took time to highlight the plight of some of these animals in the most glorious fashion possible. So without further ado, let's get to it. So before I announce the highly commended and winning image of this round, let's remind ourselves of what that individual is going to win. They will get a four-night stay at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel in northern Botswana. This fabulous hotel will take great care of you and during your stay you will go out into the Chobi National Park on our game viewers and photo boats along with the Pangolin photo host that you know so well from this channel. If you've decided that you wanted to come to Botswana for a little bit longer then we will happily exchange this prize package for a voucher for 2,500 US dollars that you can put towards any safari on our website. That's quite a... So the first of five highly commended images is this beautiful picture of a Zanzibar red colobus monkey from Joy Taylor. Um, I really like the engagement you managed to get here. So Joy tells us in the description that this troop of monkeys was running through the treetops above her and then one just stopped momentarily to turn around and stare at her and I love the I love the expression it's a look of absolute incredulity that you would happen to be there in their forest so maybe their encounters aren't too frequent with humans but it's it's a really really engaging photograph it looks like the monkey stopped eating just to stare at you agape so beautiful image congratulations joy a highly commended well done Next up, we have a very emotive image from James Mertens uh, called Time Passing. Uh, this was taken in uh, Hawaii, I believe, Honolulu, and it's a honu, or a greenback turtle, which is uh, sort of flopped out onto the beach, looking absolutely exhausted. I must be careful not to anthropomorphize too much. Um, but using a slow shutter speed has made this even more emotive because it just appears he's appearing out of, or he or she, in fact, is appearing out of a sort of a dreamscape if you like so rather than having uh, a distracting wave or something behind using a long exposure has really really made a, quite a significant difference to this image James I think it's a very beautiful image and um, thank you very much for sharing well deserving of a highly commended next up we have a very rare bird indeed a pennant winged night jar uh, personally I've, I've never seen one certainly not in flight um, and it's taken by Harry Franson. I believe this was near the Kruger National Park, made even more special by the fact that you managed to get this very dramatic blurred effect, which makes it seem, I, I, I could imagine, it actually tells the story of just how fleeting the sighting was. And the fact that you managed to get a, an image displaying these extraordinary wings is, is even more commendable. So Harry, congratulations. That's a really, really lovely image. Um, one you can be very proud of. So thank you for sharing. Next up, we have uh, puffins. Uh, puffins are such great subjects, aren't they? Conrad Pelequin took this photograph in Iceland. Um, he told in the description that he was off looking for those iconic shots of, of uh, puffins with lots of fish in their mouths returning to the nest. Uh, but he said that this was actually his, his favorite one. He said he could have spent weeks, particularly at that breeding site as the, as the puffins came back and, and displayed and, and communicated and formatted their bonds that they have with each other. And this is a beautiful, intimate, moment. Um, the fact that there's no separation makes it even more special, I think, and it really does show a very a high level of intimacy. So thank you, Conrad, for sharing. That is very beautiful. And finally, the last highly commended image is from Yang Zhao, uh, which is a leopard drinking at night. Um, there's not many comments in there. It's in Kenya, so I'm assuming this is the hide at Lentore, maybe. 
Um, it has a very distinctive look to it, it's all lit up and everything like that. Um, we've seen lots of images from this particular hide, it's very productive. Um, but this one is very special, I think, because it is, it's the isolation and the shape of the reflection, I think, and the fact that the leopard is staring straight down the lens with the tongue out as well. It's a very, very beautiful example of a leopard drinking at a waterhole at night. And thank you very much for sharing. So those are the highly commended images in the Red List Pangolin Photo Challenge. Now, before I announce the winner of this challenge, I want to let you know that the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2024 is now open. If you took part last year, then you are already eligible to take part. So please go ahead, log in and start putting your entries into the challenge. If you haven't taken part so far, then all you have to do is become a Pangolin Guardian. Now, to become a Pangolin Guardian is very simple. All you need to do is a 15-minute online course which will teach you all about pangolins. And as soon as you've finished, you will be eligible to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge and all the challenges in the future. So please follow the link in the description down below, become a Pangolin Guardian, and then you will be able to enter this year's challenge. So the winner of the Red List Pangolin Photo Challenge is this beautiful, beautiful image by Pierre Rousseau of a polar bear entitled Uphill Battle. There is so much to say in this image. I hope that I can do it justice. I think in categories like this, where we talk about the endangered species and we talk about polar bears, all too often we have photographs of polar bears on land as opposed to snow or on icebergs to demonstrate the fact that the polar uh, ice caps are melting. But the reason this really stands out for me is the polar bear is surrounded by lo what looks like lots of snow, but the posture, the fact that it's walking uphill, the fact that it has its head bowed, the fact that its coat is a little bit grubby, there's beautiful separation so you can see all four of the legs and if it wasn't for a bit of the shadow you would probably struggle to see that this was an uphill movement as well. I think that having the subject on the right hand side moving into the left I think it's just a really really beautiful and powerful image and I think really well deserving of this prize. So congratulations Pierre, this is a very beautiful powerful image, you should be very proud and I can't wait to meet you in the Chobi to hear about how you took this photograph. So Pierre, congratulations, you have won the Red List Challenge. So thank you very much for watching the show. If you'd like to enter the Pangolin Photo Challenge, you can click on the button over here. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on the far end. And if you'd like to watch a video featuring all of the finalists from this particular round, then I will disappear and you can click on the video here. Thank you for watching, bye-bye.